When Missy Chastain called me and told me her story, and I looked at what she had, this was really one of the most egregious cases of government abuse I've ever seen. I was about 10 is when I first saw this property. And I was a horse crazy kid. All I wanted to do was work with horses, live with horses. And this to me was my dream farm. And 20 years later, I was able to purchase my dream place. This property is used for riding lessons and a horse rescue. We bring in um, horses that nobody wants anymore. They've been abused and we pair them up with kids. Kids who are autistic or um, have post-traumatic stress, depression, that sort of thing. We had horses in here getting rehabbed and getting letters from parents and even school counselors showing appreciation for what we were doing for their kids uh, and letters from area agencies of showing appreciation for what we were doing for horses. And then all of a sudden, I get a completely different kind of letter and it was from Thurston County telling me that everything was going to have to be shut down. They had me listed as having 11 property violations and this was all stemmed from a complaint from a neighbor and that was it. Uh, they claimed that I built a swimming pool without a permit but the pool was here when I moved in. My well was too close to my garage. Uh, just these ridiculous claims that weren't really investigated. Tons of frivolous issues that the county was coming after her on that instead of just working those out with her, which she'd been trying to do, they were just going to court. I was told that on my almost 30 acres, uh, I was limited to having six horses here, which meant my rescue horses had to go. There's nothing in Thurston County Code that says that. That's just something that they made up. Some of them I was able to place in good homes, but several of them I had to put down because they had nowhere else to go. And I'm getting rid of horses, I'm saying goodbye to kids, I'm closing down programs. It was devastating. I had seen signs around the county um, that said stop Thurston County from taking our land. I thought that might be an avenue to go. So I called Glenn. Having someone there that understood what was going on it, and the information that he provided me, it really restored my will to fight. And so I went to the elected officials. She invited the county to send all of their folk to come out to her property and to look around and see if any of these violations made sense. When they came out there, her friends were there with their video cameras to document the process. And suddenly, when they realized they were being recorded, the county government the employees decided, they looked around and they said, everything looks great. There's no problems here. Yes, you can stand up for yourself, you can fight for your rights, and you need to be heard. Your silence will not protect you. It's something that we tell everybody that comes to us. Missy recognized that, and she got active and stood up for herself. She shined the light of day on what government was doing to her, and she was able to change her situation. Anything can happen at any time, and you really don't know what you're going to be a victim of. I never thought that my own government would work against me and would be the ones to shut me down. I stood up for myself and I managed to survive the government shutting my business down and I was barely able to hold on to my dream. I just want to put my life back together. I wonder how many others have suffered in silence. When government comes after you in this way, it begs the question, are you really free?